Okay. Now what I'm going to do is this. I'll ask you to do three more problems. Okay. So here I'm going to write the production function. And here we are going to write the cost function. Okay. So suppose the production function is minimum LK. Okay. You have to find the cost function associated with this production function. Then do the same thing for this production function. Minimum of L square K square. Okay. And also do this for minimum of root L root K. Okay. Do this. Okay. You have five minutes. It's the simplest problem. I mean, the moment you want to draw the isocos line, you know that this is going to be the solution. And this is basically where L is Y as well as K is Y. Okay, so that's the solution. And then when you're going to figure out the cost function, it is going to be W times Y plus R times Y. Is that fine? Okay, so what about the next one? What is the cost function for the next one? Yes, W plus R square root of Y. That's right. Okay. And what about the next one? Is this clear? And please don't memorize these things. Okay. Just try and understand what we have done here. We have plotted an isoquant corresponding to Y level of output. And then we have figured out what is the cost minimizing choice uh, in this region. Okay. And it turns out that this is a cost minimizing choice. So if, if, if this is basically the isoquant corresponding to Y unit of output, then this point must be the intersection of L equal to Y and K equal to Y. Okay, and that's exactly what we have got here. Okay, so if you do the same thing with minimum L square K square, you will end up equating L square to Y and K square to Y. That means L will be root Y and K will be root Y. Okay, so you will end up getting this uh you know isoquant where this is root y l is root y and k is root y and therefore you are getting the cost as w plus r root y otherwise you can also do the trick you can take the square uh you know so if you are looking at this particular problem okay and uh, you know you want to solve a problem involving minimum l square k square greater than or equal to y so in because you have already solved this problem so you're going to convert this problem into something that you have already solved so how do you do that you take square root both sides if you're going to take square root both sides you know this will be gone and you will have square root here so you have already solved this problem the only thing is that you had y there now you have square root of y here so you just have to replace y with square root of y wherever y was there you just have to replace that with square root of y so if you see in the cost function we have y here so we have replaced it with square root of y is that fine okay 